Today I'm going to tell you about the day Jesus Christ drove out a demon right in front of me. Okay, uh, it was it was um, a year and a half ago or, or just over, and I was standing outside some place, and there was um, a couple of um, women there, young women, um, and uh, while I was standing out there, a conversation broke out between us, and we started chatting away. Now, th one of them uh, was wearing uh, gothic clothing. She she was um, she was very attractive. You know, one of one of these um, girls who who is exceptionally attractive, yeah, and and she was wearing all of this regalia, and she looked quite stunning in it, yeah. And it was all uh, it was all new, it was all very clean, it wasn't all grotty like a lot of these um, goths walk around with, okay. And I could sense that there was there was something about her that didn't fit into this, yeah. Uh, so I said to her, uh, "Your clothes are very nice." I said, you know, um, uh, you, you, do, do, do you know what they actually mean? What, you know, what, 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 what the symbolism and meaning behind the clothes that you're wearing are? And uh, she said to me, oh, yeah, yeah, I, I do. I said, so, you know, it's, it's all, all to do with Apollyon the Destroyer, don't you? And she said, yes, I do. Now, I was surprised there <laughs> that she actually said that, that she, that she knew that. Now, the conversation then just flowed between us. Um, we were getting on very, very well, and uh, she was she was she was very surprised uh, how much knowledge uh, I've got about this stuff, and I was surprised how much knowledge she had and how much she was sharing with me as well. So um, I said, I, I, "The you see her clothes, you know, this got this gothic style, yeah, uh, is is to do with Apollyon." But I'll just explain this to you that the, the word goth, like gold goth. Yeah, the place of the skull. Goth means skull. Yeah, okay. And in Greek, it's called negrogephali, which means the dead head. Okay. And Apollyon the Destroyer is is the head of the body of of the pagans. You know, as Jesus Christ is the head of the body of Christ. Right? These people worship Apollyon the Destroyer. Uh, he is he is their so called Jesus. Okay. And he's and he's the dead head, the skull. Yeah, so um, she knew about this as well, and uh, I said to her, I said, "Well, I'm a born again Christian," and she said to me, uh, well, "I respect everyone's re religion." I said, "Okay." I said, well, would, "Would you accept prayer to Jesus Christ?" She said, "Yeah." I said, "Okay, <laughs> great." So I, I, I put my hand on her shoulder, and I prayed to the Lord Jesus Christ, and I asked Him to bless her and open her heart. She crumpled on the spot. Her shoulders went right in. She gripped her chest, and 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 she, and, and she looked incredibly d disturbed. I'd okay, I'd stop praying for her, and she was there like this, and she was like, "Oh, please don't do that again." I said, "So well." I said, "You asked me to pray for you, to Jesus Christ, and I've done so. If you don't want me to pray for you again, I won't pray for you again." Okay. So, but. Now, what happened now is the confirmation that the demon was gone. And she was standing there like this, okay? And her friend, one of her friends, um, there was a group of them sitting across the road in this little park bit. One of them walked over and came over to this girl and uh, started saying things to her, you know, just normal, oh, blah, 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 yeah? And then she turned to leave. This girl didn't even answer her. She turned to leave, and as she turned to leave, she turned back to me, looked at me, and she she went she went like this. She said she said, "Take it," and pointed at this girl. Take it. The demon within her recognized that the demon that was in this girl was now gone. There's no longer a demon there. So this girl was now an it. Well, there's friendship for you, eh? No demon, no friendship. <laughs> okay, she doesn't need those kind of friends. So I said to the girl, anyway, listen, I've got to go now. It's been great meeting you. Um, goodbye, and off I went. And I left her there really confused as to what had happened to her. Now, that is the power of Jesus Christ. When people accept prayer to Jesus Christ, this is the sort of thing that will happen. You know, I mean, look, 
people, you see all sorts of things on the internet and stuff of people driving out demons and, and, and what have you. I wasn't there, I'm not them. I, I don't know what the experience was like for them, but that was the experience for me. That's the experience that, that I had. And now just before I end this video, I'd like to ask uh, all born again Christians watching this video now together to pray as a body for this girl that she comes to salvation. So in the name of Jesus Christ, all joined in one accord, Lord Jesus Christ, thank you um, for, for this girl. Thank you that she accepted prayer. Thank you that the demon left her. Lord Jesus Christ, I pray that her heart is so open since that time to now, if it hasn't happened already, that she seeks you earnestly with her heart so that she may believe that you were raised from the dead and confess you with her mouth and be born again, be forgiven, set free, filled with the Holy Spirit and become a living testimony of someone who has come out of the darkness into the light and may she bring many people to you with her testimony of what you have done for her. And we pray this in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen.